So when the creator director Don Mancini started this production, did he not realize that he's basically making a Disney live action of Toy Story 2? Chucky ends up being at the art cell and a knife gets taken. But what his whole purpose for being there is to save Wheezy. So I guess he goes to the art cell to save Tiffany. This is their way of making big buck buck bucks. So with Colt and Chucky being Don Mancini's third and final Chucky film directing, this will be his fourth time directing the character in this series um, on sci-fi. Um, it will be on in, in streaming services, which is unfortunate because that really kind of cancels out a lot of his viewers, honestly. Seeing all that he's done with especially Seed and Colt, I'm just really not that interested because, I mean, yes, he did make a pretty promising child's play film with Curse of Chucky, I thought was really solid and went back to the roots of the original somewhat. Um, a lot of people complained it was boring, the build up with Chucky up until the end, but I really enjoyed that aspect. There's so much potential in Colt that he just missed the mark, you know, with returning cast members like Alex Vincent, Peter Dorf. Um, it was really exciting and with the atmosphere, I thought it was going to be awesome with the Asylum. But it just fell flat and it was one of the most disappointing movies because it was really hyped up for that movie. And honestly, with the ending of Colt again, I thought they were going to go from there and build from that into the series. And I thought that would be terrible because that was a horrible ending. Apparently, he's back in the doll. Um, I don't know why. I guess they're just disincluding that. It's connected, but in a way it's kind of not. I don't know if Tiffany's going to be involved or not. I prefer her not, even though I enjoyed her character in Bride and Chucky to an extent. As far as the look of Chucky, it definitely does look like uh, part two. As you remember, try to continue with the sequel of Leprechaun, and honestly, I don't think that went well at all. But, I mean, a lot of people said they liked it. I, I hated it. I was just fine with the original sequel. They're very limited with what they can do on a TV series. Um, instead of Netflix where they, you know, can pretty much do anything they want. It depends on how much blood they can show, how much cursing, which Chucky's known for. And you also got Don Mancini that clearly doesn't know what the hell he's doing. He's trying to cater to fans, but also trying to do his own thing. You know, be original and change it up a bit. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if Chucky went in space. It was sad that they were going to go, um, explore other options, more variety. It's just kind of drawn out. And that's usually the case in most horror movies. They don't care what the story is. I do. I think it drives the motive. It just makes for a better story all around. It makes you want to see them live and survive. And that also depends on how long Brad Dourif is willing to keep doing the voice of Chucky. I mean, he's 71 years old. You think eventually he's going to want to retire. He's had no problem being the voice of Chucky for all these decades, which is amazing. But, I mean, you kind of got to be realistic about it. And... You know, as far as his daughter, she could, you know, be a character in the movie, but, I mean, um, I mean, how long will that go? Because, you know, once he stops to where he can't do the voice of Chucky no more, no one's going to be interested, really. I'm more excited for the fan film Charles than I am of this Chucky series because, you know, I think it'd be really interesting if they went back and explained some of Chucky's origins before he came the killer doll as Charles Lee Ray. Like, we don't know very much of him at all. The uh, Lake Shore Strangler, not the Tattletail Strangler. That's a different show. I think it'd be interesting to bring more of that voodoo aspects back, add something new to it, and also explore the background. There's really not other places you can go with it that hasn't already been done. I mean, one of the reasons why Chuck is going to this small screen um, and not even student services is because it's just tired material. I and mean, a lot of people are on board for it. You know, again, with the limitations, I don't see this being the Chucky that we're used to. I mean, I hope it's good. Hopefully people will like it. I hope I like it. I want to see a good Chucky film or one that I enjoy. Um, but most fans like the witty, upbeat, f comical satire that Chucky's become will get a mesh of both. It could work maybe if done properly. We'll have to see. So what's your thoughts on the Chucky trailer or teaser that we really didn't see much of? So let me know what you think. And as promised from Chucky, he'll always be there as he's a friend to the end. So I guess this isn't the end of him. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.